I'm here at the Sideshow Gathering in Wilkes-Barre, PA, to witness the world's only convention devoted to a novelty and variety exhibition of the sideshow form. Here we go, he's got to contort his body in all kinds of ways to accommodate this. We're very curious monkeys. And we're all about looking at the weird, the strange, the bizarre, the odd, and the unusual. If it's exotic, we want to watch. We have to watch. It's that morbid curiosity that keeps us attached. And nothing generates more morbid curiosity than sideshow. One, two, three! I saw someone do a stunt, and I went, Shh, I can do that. And uh, I have a pretty high pain tolerance, and so one thing sort of led to another. Generally, the rule is if you hit something squishy or you hit something hard, stop. <laughs> okay, there we go. Well, you guys got to lay out the snacks. Oh, I think it's persisted because there's this very visceral reaction to seeing somebody actually do something amazing, especially in these days when we're inundated with computer animation and creative editing and stuff like with reality TV. What's real anymore and what's not? Well, what's real is when you watch a guy take a 22-inch steel blade that you've seen it, he's been talking the whole time and just watch him slide it down his throat. It's a very visceral, you know, it's doing something you've always been told isn't possible. And, but you're seeing it, it is real, it's live, it's happening right there in front of you. Everything that we do is, uh, is either uncomfortable, painful, or, you know, difficult to sort of jump in and, and do it. Most people think that once you've learned the acts or learned to overcome them that it, it becomes old hat or uh, something that's, you know, reasonably easy to do. Look at that. It's a car crash, you know. Uh, it's not the circus. The circus is beautiful and glamorous, wherein this is sort of disgusting or something that they wouldn't normally see. Um, and I think the the uh, the human psyche is always going to look at that.